Hi, I'm Laurel Toby, uh, founder of MediaBistro.com, and I'm here again with Jonathan Ames, wonderful author, writer, provocateur. Uh, he's the creator of the fabulous HBO show, Bored to Death. Uh, we're talking about your writing now, Jonathan, mm -hmm. so let's go into the process a little bit. Mm -hmm. Is it easy for you to write? Um, well, the actual physical process of thought to keyboard is not overwhelmingly difficult after many years of it, maybe that Malcolm Gladwell thing of 10,000 hours. But what's difficult is to write something of interest, so that part's difficult. But actually, thinking and writing does come fairly easily do to me Do you write now. longhand, or do you, t do you type? Uh, when I actually have to write something for other people to read, I type. I, I take all my notes, though, on little pads. I have one right here. Oh. You know, yellow notebooks, receipts. I, scr I scratch things down in handwriting. Okay, so you write by hand first, then you translate it into the computer, and then magic happens. Um, what's your, is it easier to write a novel, or is it easier to write a screenplay? What's, what's uh, easier, harder? Well, well, novels are the most difficult. They're like these really big operas, and you know, they can be two or three hundred pages, and there's so much you have to sustain. A script, like when I used to write a column for a paper, like a script is 30 pages. That's manageable, you know? And, and also they're very streamlined, and so your, you know, your screen directions have to be like police blotter writing. And then the dialogue is very thin, so the actual page of writing of a script is minimal. Though, of course, it's got to move and be interesting and not, not boring. Did you find it hard, though, to translate your skills at novel writing into, say, an HBO script? I mean, how did you do that? How, I, everyone out there wants to know, how did Jonathan do that? Because he's no smarter than we are, is he? Well, um, I read a number of scripts, and I just quickly gleaned that you wanted to make the descriptions, like I said, short and to the point, and then the dialogue lively. And then I, I did learn as I went along to begin scenes late and them early, so you don't want people walking across a room a lot, ringing doorbells, you know, all that's going to chew up screen time and get thrown out anyway. I don't know, I guess... Um, it was just sort of adapting to a form, like adapting to a poetic form, like writing a sonnet or, you know, a, whatever, another one, a siesta. No, that's a nap. But, um, but most people have to take classes at Media Bistro in order to learn how to write a sonnet. And they should take classes at Media Bistro. <laughs> Do you guys still offer classes? I used Jonathan to teach at Media taught Bistro. Class. This is not a sales pitch, I swear. Uh, seriously, though, how did you break into HBO? Come on, everyone wants to know. What, did you have to sleep with somebody? Um, no, I didn't have to sleep with anybody, really? um, but that would have been a nice benefit if I had. That would have uh, that'd be a great way to get a job, it, especially if you were attracted to the person. Um, no, I broke into HBO because um, a few years before I had written a pilot for Showtime in which I had played myself. So I had some script writing experience, and then a producer at HBO wanted to meet me, I, she said, what have you been working on lately? I gave her a short story I'd written, Bored to Death. She thought there was something in there. She said, can you create a world for the protagonist, who was named Jonathan Ames? I said, yes. I did that, went to HBO, pitched it. They greenlit it. I wrote the pilot, and it just and has continued to snowball. Here we are today. This I mean, is if so this exciting. wasn't the internet, maybe I could explain more, but those were the <laughs> basic steps. This is so exciting. Jonathan, <laughs> I can't <laughs> believe what a success you've become. Oh. I do look well, around you and wonder, this is so surreal. Well, I, I don't really notice it. I live in the same kind of cluttered apartment. I'm sort of like the Jeffersons, except I haven't moved to the Upper East Side yet. <laughs> um, but Have you made any uh, money yet? I mean, are you marriageable now? Can I uh, introduce you to some girls? Um, financially, I imagine I'm a candidate for marriage, emotionally, mentally, psychologically, and in every other way, I'm, I'm not a candidate. <laughs> all right, well, that's all the time we have for you today, Jonathan. Oh, uh, we'll pick you. this up later, and we'll talk about Bored to Death, Jonathan's fabulous HBO series.